Okay, so PEMDAS, that's something you have learned before, right? Yeah. Okay, so you should know what all of those letters mean. I like to structure it a little bit differently. Notice it's still the same order that you're used to, but I like to structure it a little bit differently just to make some key um, observations about PEMDAS because I feel like we make some mistakes here and there that are unwarranted, okay? So P, what does the P stand for, everybody? Parentheses, Parentheses good. And then I like to put a restart there, okay? Because sometimes I have something inside of parentheses, and then I have some other numbers out here, and then I put that in brackets, okay? Brackets function as parentheses, okay? So if I find these parentheses, I want to restart inside. Then I look for parentheses again. So I restart and find my parentheses. Then I restart again, okay? That's why I put that restart in there. Because I have some kids that will find the brackets, go inside, and then just do left to right. Okay, you go inside the parentheses, restart. Okay, then what's my E? Exponent's good. It's pretty self-explanatory. I put M and D side by side because this is what happens. You say PEMDAS, you go, okay, parentheses and then exponents and then multiplication and then division. And that is so very, very wrong. Okay, it is not go through the problem and do all the multiplication and then go through all the problem and do all the division. That is the number one mistake that happens, okay? And I want to let you know about that ahead of time. That is the number one mistake that happens. It's multiply and divide at the same time from left to right, okay? So parentheses first, go through and do your exponents, multiply and divide, both of them, same time from left to right, okay? So we can stick our multiply and divide in here. And then same thing with add and subtract, same time from left to right. All right, so let's look at A and D together. So A, class, do I have parentheses? No. 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 Exponents? No. no. Multiplication or division? Yeah. Sure do. So I go left to right, I track, and you can watch my cursor up here. 3 minus 12, I hit a division sign, that's the first one that I do. I go left to right, always. So then negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. Always take the signs with it. Bring down your 3, and then 3 minus 3 is 0. Okay? As simple as that. D. Okay, I see parentheses and I see brackets. I always start with the outermost set. So I find these brackets right here and I restart. So I go inside and restart. Do you see parentheses? Yeah. Yes, I see another set of parentheses. So I go inside and restart. Obviously 10 minus 5, that's a simple 10 minus 5. So you have 5. Still have your 3 minus inside the brackets and I still have my plus 5 outside. Finish the brackets, right? Because those are functioning as parentheses. I always have to finish that first before I do anything. So 3 minus 5. You have $3. You owe me $5. Pay me everything you have. You still owe me $2. So that's a negative 2. I still have my 5 plus out front. So 5 plus a negative 2. I'm just left with 3. Okay, so together with your partners, I would like you to do B, C, and E. So do the rest of those three problems, B, C, and E, together with your partners. Go ahead. Okay, so collectively, what did we get for A on problem one? 14, is that consensus? 14? Okay. What about B? 27.3 repeating. Biogenesis, why is that popping up on my screen? Biogenesis. Sir? We didn't have to solve it, though. Correct, you didn't have to solve no, it. We didn't have Most, to. It's not wrong. But it does say justify your answer in words and with math. Well, I did. I oh did the word parentheses. That's what I did. Generally, if it says justify your answer in words and with math, it requires you to find two different answers or two of the same answers. <laughs> Minor fact, though. Okay. All right, so let's talk about the real thing that I really want to talk about. Can somebody tell me what you, got, what you and your partners wrote down for why it's different? Okay, up in the corner. Uh, I have this. I got Cheyenne. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay, can somebody go in a little more depth and tell me why that makes it different? Because you do that first. 
what you do what first? The parentheses. the parentheses first, right? So A, obviously on B, I wouldn't start with 5 plus 4. That's probably like the last thing I would do or one of the last things I would do. But when I put it in parentheses on A, that changes the game, right? So parentheses are big time, right? They change things a lot. So be aware of that. Okay, problem two. Explain what went wrong. I really like problems like this, so you'll probably see them often. Okay, problem error analysis is what it's called. Yes, sir, you are an A, a C. Chase. Yes. Okay. Uh, they the last one they it. Ah, the golden rule again, right? That's the one I was trying to hit home. This person did parentheses and then exponents and then went for multiply next. 38, or sorry, 3 times 8 to get 24. That is incorrect, right? I should have done 28 divided by 3, or sorry, 24 divided by 3 and got 8, and then worked through the problem that way. What was the correct so solution? Negative 56. Is that consensus? Okay, good. All right, problem three. Would your group be happy to receive the following grade for this assignment? Let me work out two different problems here. Again, the golden rule. So if, hopefully none of you did this at this point in the game, but if you did 5 times 10 and got 50 first, instead of going left to right with multiplication and division, you would get a pretty decent grade, right? 50 divided by 50 is 1, so 100 minus 1 is 99. That would be a pretty decent grade, except for the fact that that is wrong. I should be doing 50 divided by 5. Negative 50 divided by 5 is negative 10. Then I do my multiplication, so I have 100 minus 100. And I really hope that you don't want a zero. If you do, we have some conversations to be had. Okay, so that's that. Um...